Spring's just about here, and there's a spring in our step. It's time for another Fallout Miami monthly update. As usual, I'm Maya, and I'll be presenting some of the new content our team has been working on over the past couple of weeks. To start things off, we've got yet another piece of our soundtrack to showcase. This month's track is Concrete Corridors. You'll be hearing it while exploring the titular concrete corridors of the Enclave's headquarters in Miami Beach. Its tense and militaristic sound is a perfect match for the mood of this top-secret facility. Concrete Corridors was composed by Octopus Rage. When we talked about the faction reputation system last month, we showed you two of the wonderful faction icons Bruno Sadler and James O'Dwyer contributed to our mod. We've got two more for you this month. Since each group in the Vacation Wasteland will have at least a couple different end states, it makes sense that even smaller factions such as the Rovers will be part of the reputation system. Even though they're a very self-contained bunch that doesn't impact the main quest all that much, they're certainly unique and interesting enough to visit during your playthrough. A side faction that does relate a lot more to the central plot of Fallout Miami would certainly be the Cubanos. Players will get involved in the group's internal conflict over their leadership and identity. The official leader of the Cubanos, drawn here by Annabelle Co., is one Emilio Segura. A caring yet stern man, he's held on strongly to the ideals, passed down before the Great War, that have allowed the Cubanos not only to survive, but to thrive in the post-nuclear vacation wasteland. While he was certainly more hot-headed in his youth, strong mentorship and years of experience made him a reliable leading figure to his people. But those years have really been piling up, and he hasn't been doing too well lately. That, combined with the old man's stubborn refusal to explore new opportunities, is what led to Carlos Trueno stepping up and assuming a de facto leadership role. You may remember him from one of our earlier monthly updates. There's quite a lot more to the conflict between these two, but we don't want to spoil anything for you, so that's all you get for now. And, last but not least, we have something a little more lighthearted to show you. You might remember our surfer tribe, the Tide Riders. We also talked about them in a previous video. A couple of different visual influences went into nailing down their aesthetic. Their look is certainly eclectic. We wanted the Bungo, their bungalow village, to have a certain tropical charm, so we couldn't not have bongos. These drums, made by Kenneth Bested, are one of the many unique set dressing assets that give Fallout Miami its own unique look. You won't find these in too many locations, but they certainly fit right in with our freaky tiki, loosey goosey, 60s inspired hunter surfer gatherers. That about does it for March. As always, if you're a hotshot and think you have what it takes to help us make Fallout Miami a reality, send us your application. You'll find a link to the form in the description. See you next month.